Good morning, everybody. Waiting for the flight now. Well, I got there super early. It was uh, one of these early flights to Heathrow. I took the, the early one because there's normally, I think it's two or three flights going off to Heathrow. You can see it was quite gloomy weather, Malta. And I'm sorry, we don't have any tunnels here to protect you from the weather. So if it's raining, you're going to get wet. They used to, in the old days, I remember the 70s, they used to uh, give you like umbrellas to walk to the plane, but not anymore. Anyway, I was quite excited because um, it was... Uh, I've done this many times, I've been over to Heathrow many times, uh, but this was a sort of bucket list uh, getaway. Uh, I've got, you'll see later on with the videos, I hope you stay with me. I've got about four or five videos, but the Paris one wasn't that good and I didn't do a lot really in London because you've seen it all before. Anyway, I booked, um, like usual, with the leg space, the exit, and we got the usual, you're in charge if anything happens. I wonder what happens actually, you know what I was always thinking? Oh, we're on board. <laughs> that was a quick jump. Anyway, we're on board and I got the seat, uh, the exit seat. There it is. There they explain to you what happens when the, when the plane crashes from 40,000 feet into the sea. You have to act calmly and pull that lever and pull the door back and jump out the chute. But don't put your uh, life jacket inflate your light jacket until you get into the sea you must be bloody joking <laughs> anyway we're ready for up guys it was really nice flight a bit cloudy i was expecting a bit of turbulence on the way but uh it was pleasant very pleasant flight uh, the usual three and something hours to heathrow um it's completely changed on air malta now so if you want any food or anything like that you're gonna have to pay for it not even any water or fruit. In the old days, they used to uh, do a full meal. I remember in the 70s. Then they reduced it down to a, a sandwich, but they got so much flack for this sandwich. And a, I don't want to give you a sandwich and a, a bottle of water or something like that. I think they just give up. They didn't even bother. Anyway, you can see Gloomy. We're taxiing now. On the way to Heathrow. Go nice the wrong way. I I tried to capture the wrong way, but um, I thought it was this was the wrong way. But then we we went down to another one. Anyway, lovely bl lovely blue sky, guys. Sunny Malta. You can see how nice it took it took off. Very nice and calm. Up into the clouds. Hand side, that sort of the, the sun's trying to break through up in the air. We are, guys. I think he, he was said a few words in Maltese, the captain. And we look how nice. Soon we'll be breaking into the clouds and we won't be seeing Malta. But there she is, on beneath us, spreading across. Still, the sun like trying to break through. Mine was better weather than we got in London and Paris because we got loads of rain in Paris and uh, only one or two days, one in Oxford Street when I was walking down Oxford Street, I think I took a couple of shorts, all of the shorts. Anyway, we're about halfway through now the flight. Still.
all that bad, but there's pee everywhere. Anyway, half an hour to land. I think it. Freezing. Now, that's the one we went on there, Airbus. Oh, it's on the other side, you can't quite see it. I was going to show you. Anyway, this is all from our flight from Water. It's really strange here, it's always empty. <laughs> anyway, speak to you later, guys. We're on our way out. Terminal 4, Heathrow, bags are wet, there's a bit of damage, so...